Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 259. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about the best large cap growth funds for the past five years. And you're going to learn what equity mutual funds have been performing best for five years and also for the year to date numbers through April 15th of 2017. But before we do, I wanted to let you know about another awesome podcast called Profit Boss Radio. Profit Boss Radio is hosted by MBA and certified financial planner Hillary Hendershot, who highlights inspiring women who have created success in their financial and professional lives. Each week, you can tune in and hear how women have paved the road to sustain success with both beliefs and actions. Check it out at ProfitBossRadio.com. Well, this is going to be an interesting show today because a lot of people have moved away from investing in mutual funds. Years ago, mutual funds were extremely popular, and that's pretty much the only way that the everyday investor invested. And then ETFs came out, and because of the lower expenses and other reasons, people gravitated now more toward ETFs. So what I'm going to do is give you the top seven large cap growth funds for the last five years, plus the top two that have also had the best performance year to date through April 21st of 2017. And before I do that, I want to talk about the difference between mutual funds and ETFs. Mutual funds being an actively managed portfolio of investor money that's pooled together. A professional manager makes selections of stocks to buy and sell, and that portfolio changes over time. And you pay a little bit more because you have an active person making those decisions and trying to outperform generally an index. In this case, because we're talking about large cap growth funds, they would be trying to outperform the Standard & Poor's 500 index versus ETFs, which would be the S&P 500 would be an example of an ETF. It's a static portfolio of 500 stock. Because those 500 companies are not actively managed, the expense ratio can be lower. So you have a static portfolio, lower costs, and so a lot of people are gravitating toward more of the ETFs today. Well, let's look at these top large cap growth funds for the past five years and see what their performance has been. The number one five-year equity fund has been Vanguard Capital Opportunity, symbol VHCAX, and it's averaged 18.01%. It's also up 7.86% year to date. Then Fidelity OTC, symbol F-O-C-K-X, is up 17.26 for five years and up 13.77% year-to-date. The Parnassus Endeavor Investor, P-A-R-W-X, is up 16.84% for five years and up 3.06 year-to-date. The Vanguard Prime Cap, V-P-M-A-X, up 16.83 for five years and up 7.7% year-to-date. The Prime Cap Odyssey Growth, P-O-G-R-X, up 16.37 for five years and up 8.76 year-to-date. The Shelton NASDAQ 100 Index Direct, N-A-S-D-X, up 16.35% per year for five years, year-to-date up 11.75. And the Edgewood Growth Institutional, E-G-F-I-X, up 16.24% for five years and up 13.69% year-to-date. And by the way, I will post this article on my website at lindapjones.com, podcast 259. So very interesting, we have between 16 to 18% returns on average for five years for these top seven, and we have 
the top two year-to-date being Edgewood Growth Institutional up 13.69 of those top seven and the Fidelity OTC up 13.77 year-to-date in the top seven. So those two are up the most year-to-date in the top seven. Now let's compare that to the S&P 500 index, which would be the ETF that we would compare this to or the index we would compare this to. For the five-year average, it has returned 13.65% and year-to-date 5.58%. So we have an interesting situation here. We have the actual outperformance of these seven funds, and this Investor's Business Daily article also has an additional 14 funds that uh, have outperformed the S&P 500 index as well. In fact, the worst fund on this list has averaged 15.32% for five years and is up 5.8% year to date. I think this is very interesting because the trend has really been to sort of poo-poo active management and to go with more of the ETF or index investing. And uh, I think this is a, a very interesting performance number to look at. Five years is usually a pretty good length of time to give someone enough time to show their true performance and how good of a manager they are. So I think five years is a good number of years to look at to give someone, you know, to show their track record. So I'll post this on my website. You can take a look at it and see what you think, but lots of good funds here. Uh, you might own some of these in your 401k plan. You might be thinking about investing in some of these, mixing these in with ETFs. There's no reason why you have to have a portfolio of only ETFs. You certainly can mix in mutual funds in with your ETFs. And if you have a good active manager plus a good passive manager, well, that's kind of a maybe the best of both worlds because as active managers outperform, you're able to get that additional performance. And sometimes they're not consistent. Sometimes they don't outperform. And in that case, you've got the index that perform better. So I kind of think it's a, a nice way to pepper a portfolio with uh, giving them a chance to have some active managers as well. So take a look, see what you think, and see if this is something that you might want to consider for your portfolio. If you haven't yet hit the subscribe button, please do so. That way you'll be notified as soon as my podcasts are uploaded. You'll get them right away. And if you haven't yet gotten your 11 quick tips to boost your wealth, go to my website at lindapjones.com and get the one page quick things you can do to get your net worth growing. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.